Okay, the plan for the day. We are currently staying in Dalström and we'll be traveling up to Leidenbach and then through to Sabi. Now this is only a journey of about 117 kilometers, but we've been told that the roads connecting these points are absolutely terrible. So we need to drive with caution. If we can take three hours for today, I'll be pretty happy. We're Sarah and Murray, a South African couple who set out to travel as far and wide as our tight budget could take us. After spending almost a year and a half having some crazy adventures all across Europe, we finally come home and we're ready for our first adventure. This is making me so nervous. First time driving the van. First time driving the van, and it's because you want to fly the drone while we drive. No pressure. You ready? You got it. <gasps> Almost. <laughs> Shots. Is that good enough? Whew. That was stressful. Um, my legs are shaking. <sighs> How's your first drive? Whew, a little bit stressful, especially when you were flying drone. But all in all, pretty great. The biggest thing to get used to is like top heaviness and how long it takes to slow down but other than that it's pretty good great that was a pretty good drive and we were told that the potholes would be insane like people have turned around and said no we are no longer driving this road because the potholes are so bad but honestly we came across maybe 10 potholes mm, in 50 kilometers but also we had we could see a lot of patches on the road so i don't know how recent that has been done lots of like a lot of road works yeah. yeah so it's actually been a very good drive so far and the potholes that you do find they're very like manageable you can get around them quite easily but we are now in a town called Leidenbach. oh it's new name what's its new name oh it's new name Maringi. what we've seen <laughs> what Maringi. Mashishing. Oh, Mashishing. Mashishing. Welcome to Mashishing. <laughs> So an interesting fact about Mashishing or Ladenburg. So in Northern Sutu, which is one of the 11 official languages in South Africa and which is the language which is spoken here, Mashishing means long green grass. But now we're on the road, we're on a road called the Long Tom Pass and we're on the way to our campsite for the night in Sabi River. Sabi River Camp. This was never planned. <laughs> Hello. Little did we know, but we pulled in at a place called Hops Hollow, which is not only the highest brewery in Africa, but it is also the second highest brewery in the world. We didn't really know what to expect when walking in, but man, oh man, were we blown away. Incredibly warm, comfortable, and inviting. We or rather me, because Sarah is driving, I. I managed to have a beer tasting of nine different types of beers for just 50 rand. Let me tell you, these weren't just one sip and done type testers, but were rather proper 
glasses of beer. Our host Colin walked us and talked us through each different type of beer and was even kind enough to throw in an extra taster for free. This is a mango chili cider. It's like a special extra. It smells like a like a mango in this glass. Okay. <laughs> oh, you get the smell and the taste of the mango, but then you feel the chili right here. Oh, really? Feel the chili right here. It's, re it's really nice, though. <laughs> Thank you. Hops Hollow is a true definition of a hidden gem and if you ever find yourself in the area, you should really consider stopping in for a visit. Bumbi, thank you so much for taking over the driving for the day so that I could experience that. I love you. Next time, you're driving so that I get to taste all of this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we've been on the road for all of 0.5 of a second and we found, we found an amazing viewpoint. Have a look at this place. South Africa, eh? Incredible. First day of driving the van, how was it? I kind of loved it. It was so fun. I felt very powerful because I was like big on the roads and you're so high up. So I just feel like, you know, everyone else down there, you just calm down and make space for me. <laughs> I know we've been promising you guys this van tour like the whole video, but we have one more thing we want to see before we get into that. It's just over there and it's one of the attractions of Sabi. Also, in case you're wondering, we're spending the night at the Sabi River Camp. Sabi Falls and apparently they came about from the setup of a hydroelectric plant somewhere around here. We've got two waterfalls over there, two waterfalls over there, the sound of powerful rushing water. I don't know about you guys but I love waterfalls. So the Sabi Falls wasn't necessarily the main highlight that we wanted to see today as the panorama route is actually what we wanted to see. This is just the benefits of driving along the panorama route. I mean it's right here. We just walked straight over a bridge, straight over a road to see it. It's just amazing. That stopped me dead in my tracks. I literally backtracked. I was like, Mark, is that thing real? Like, it's a fake crocodile. I hope it's fake. I'm pretty sure it is. Just chilling on the grass there. <laughs> it's finally time for that van tour we've been promising you the whole video. It makes the most sense to start from the front of the van and move backwards. I actually can't believe I'm saying those words. The van. Anyway, the front here is basically a car. Everything is same, same. But the biggest difference we've noticed is that there's no rear view mirror. There's huge side mirrors, which is great because you rely on those completely. But it's a little bit weird to get used to. Like I kept looking for it when we first were driving and it, it's a bit weird. But if you move back this way, things start to get a little bit weird and different. You've got all these knobs and switches and flicks that we just don't really know what they do fully. We know enough to get by, but we just don't know fully how everything works and what would actually happen if we changed a bunch of things, which we won't do. Next up, we have the bathroom. So let's take a look inside. We've got the cleaning products that came with the van, the toilet, and the sink slash shower. This thing's pretty nifty because 
it's a sink until you need it to be a shower. Next, the kitchen. This just looks like a counter, right? But when you move things aside and you open this up, you have your kitchen space. There's a tap in here, cold, hot water, gas stove, ready for some cooking. And then down here we have the fridge, which has a little clip that keeps it closed when you're driving. Everything works really well in here. We haven't come across something that doesn't work yet. So we've got a cupboard, it's got three shelves, we've got a drawer that's got all our cutlery in it. On this side we've got another cupboard with another three shelves. On this side we've got our microwave and another cupboard. Everything's got these little pop lock things which are really nifty because when you're driving sometimes when we leave them unlocked they sort of do this <laughs> while you're driving and then you just pop that in and it can't go anywhere. Then you've got the bed. Now honestly, this bed is bigger than it needs to be. But once we put it down, once or down, up, once we set it up, we haven't actually unset it up yet or set it down or whatever. We haven't made it back into seats because we found that it's actually most convenient and I'll show you why. Down. Can you see me? <laughs> so here is a bunch of storage space and it's out of sight, it's out of the way and it's another place to store things. While you still have all this open space under the bed, on here, this side, this side, this side, this side, there are little, what, what would you call them, cupboards? Under cupboards. seat cupboards, yeah. So there's like cupboard space under all the seating on the sides, yeah. All these cupboards that are super convenient because they do that and like they stay open. Have we struggled for space, Mark? Not really, no. Not really, no. It's been fantastic. And the aircon. There's an aircon. And then in the middle here, there's a tabletop that lifts up. So there is a little table that you can set up here. And what we've even used it for is to like leave half the bed made and then we set up the table and we can use it while still not having to like undo the whole bed, which is really convenient. For lighting, you've got two options on either side. You've got this one which is actually really bright, so I don't really like this one. And you've got these ones, which are a bit softer, but they're still pretty bright. And it's just enough for you to work comfortably in the evenings and not be straining your eyes because obviously we spend a lot of time on our laptops, on our phones, doing all the editing and that other kind of work that goes the back side of our channel. I forgot to tell you guys about the little plug points that are on both sides of the van. The only thing is that you can't use these while you're driving. You can only use them once you're in camp, set up, and you've got it plugged in. As we are now. <laughs> this is where we pop our water in. This is where we plug in for electricity when we stopped at a campsite. This is our gas cylinder. And this is the toilet that comes out and we have to empty it out. That's Merrick's job. The van also came with this awesome awning, two camping chairs and a table, which has been amazing to sit outside and enjoy where we are instead of having to stay in the van the whole time. Just a little disclaimer, we are newbie van lifers. We've never done a van tour before, so if we left out a whole bunch of things, please forgive us. <laughs> but that wraps up our day. You know, it's been really, really cool just exploring a different part of the country that we've never been to before. South Africa, South Africa is absolutely Stunning, but tomorrow we're heading out. We're only spending one day at this beautiful campground. Not so sure where we're spending tomorrow night, but we'll figure that out tomorrow. But thank you so much for joining us, and I'll see you in the next one. So, you've been following around. <sighs> Interesting fact about Mashishing or Ladenburg. So, Mashishing. Uh, Masha Shing. In 150 meters, make a U turn. Oh, hush. <laughs> Don't tell us what to do. <laughs> nice to do. I want to show you a special light that we brought, which has been amazing. Look at this magic. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh there, there we go. Magic!